And oh. plus, I don't want to rap forever. We can go ahead and say that right now. Oh, I don't want to yeah. rap forever. She, she be quick to say that. I'm quick to say that. Seven, seven, seven radio checking in. Right here on Apple Music, baby. It's episode three, and I got another special guest in the building. Yes, sir. My dog, my blood, my right hand, Brooklyn Nicole in the building. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> They're my twin now. And this is the sleepover theme. You know what I'm saying? We in this bitch with our PJs We comfy, home. baby. We got the popcorn. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that, that popcorn good now. Yeah, we can do an ASMR, ASMR. real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you entrepreneur. Tell us about your brand. Okay, so my brand is Beauty by Brooklyn. It is a cosmetic line. We have our four glosses right now, one lip liner. You can buy a kit. It's lit. And it's many, many more things to come for sure. So, being the sister of someone who does music, mm-hmm. who else are you a fan of? Like, who's on your playlist? You know what I'm saying? I love Mariah the Scientist. She know that. That's our Mariah. girl. That's our girl. Like, that's our girl. But I genuinely love her. Mm-hmm. I love Central C. Mm-hmm. UK, we know you little love UK vibe, yeah. little UK vibe. I be like your old R and B, but mm-hmm. I mean, if we talk about new, I mean, I like old R and B though. We both do. Yeah, for that's sure. our vibe. Like for in the sure. house, we be cooking, playing mm-hmm. that R and B, baby. First of all, do you want to pursue anything in my lane as far as like fame? And- no, <laughs> immediately no. <laughs> Why is it a big fat no? It's a big fat no because it's been like that. Our whole lives. I've never been, like, center of attention or outgoing. <laughs> I'm very to myself. I had to drag her on this fucking radio show. Yeah, she did. But, you know, I'm kind of getting up. I'm stepping on my shell. You are. For sure. You are. I see you do it. Uh-huh. And I'd be like, oh, I could never, baby. I could never. <laughs> i really be saying that to myself. Y'all don't realize this is hard. Like, it's not easy. It I looks feel fun, like, but... and it's a sleepover, so I'm eating my popcorn. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. You also get to see firsthand what this shit is really like. That's what I'm saying. Bitch, this shit deeper than giving looks. And you have to really have a star quality. Like, you got that. You just... <laughs> You, you just do, and I always Thank said you, that. T. I be like, girl, I be dry as hell with that crowd. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be like, oh, speaking of crowd. Oh, speaking of crowd, we just got done with Coachella. Lotto Cella. Lotto Cella. What you talking about? Turn that motherfucker to Lotto Cella. Stop nah, playing. that was lit. It gave like special oh guests. Yes, 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 yes. The girls. The girls. Yeah. It gave new music. Oh, that new, new. It gave choreo. It gave a bitch could never. It gave looks. Mm-hmm. It gave face cards. Mm-hmm. It gave everything. Thank you so, so, so much to Tiana Taylor yes, we and love the her. aunties. Coco, I fucking love you, bitch. <laughs> I Jasper, got I got a whole new creative direction team, and I really been investing in myself and it shows. It has. T, I love you down. Tiana and the aunties are my new creative direction baby. team. It's giving balls, it bitch. <laughs> Coachella ain't no hold up. It's not, baby. Tell that- them how long I was in rehearsals. You was, oh my gosh. Two. Before we left, Before I, we I left, did not see her uh, at the house. At all, baby. A good two weeks in that motherfucker every day. Yeah, she was going through Eight hours, six to eight hour six rehearsals every hours. day. Like, I was in rehearsal on Easter, my nigga. Yes, you yeah. was. Because yeah. mommy came to the house and she like, yeah. where Luz at? Yeah. Yeah, she, she, she don't play with she's me. She's a hard worker. She don't play. One thing she was about it. in there. As soon as she got up, mm-hmm. she leaving, not coming home till mm-hmm. like 3 o'clock in the morning. And then what? Finishing the album on the Studio. way to... Exactly. Studio, baby. I'm in rehearsals for Coachella either 12 to 6 or 12 to 8. Then going to the studio, leaving that bitch around 4, 3, 4. I be sad when you be working that much. I'm like, can you come home? <laughs> I be bored. <laughs> Let them know firsthand, witnessing everything that come, that come, that goes into a show like that. Oh, my gosh. Because they think you just wake up. Like, nah, baby. This is progress. Seeing it from the this outside is, is crazy. Rehearsal. Yeah, let them know. Because 
you be working all day. Mm-hmm. You got to remember that choreo. And what people don't know about you, you very involved. Mm-hmm. If somebody Speak is on off, it. like Speak on the it. DJs, the sound people, everything, she going to be on your ass. <laughs> no she going to be on your ass. And she going to be like, she be, she be like, Vaughn, what's up with my set? You need to stop doing this. You need to stop doing that. I'm like, girl. Vaughn, we playing. love you, okay, baby. No, no. Vaughn, we love you. That's thing. my motherfucking BFF. Like, but one she, thing about it, everybody play. around me is my dogs yeah, in real sure. life. Like, when y'all see me perform to uh, put it on the flow, that's all, that's all my people in real life on that stage with me. I'm like, when yeah. I drop that song, I need y'all to come out there with me. I want to share this stage with my gang. You that's know what why I'm I think, you know, our team gets along so well. But Literally, literally. I got my sister in here. Let's talk about family. Okay. Mommy, Mommy daddy, daddy, the whole family. We got same mama, same daddy. Yes. Everybody think we don't because we don't have the same features. hmm But get right, please. <laughs> same right. mama, same daddy. Mommy is, is our everything. Mommy is our everything. Oh, my gosh. What? They, they see our Christmas videos and whatever. And they right. like, oh, it's the three of y'all. Da, da, da. Right. But no, no sad shit. But I, I wanna, I want you to talk from daddy perspective because people think like they seen us on a rap game, whatever, and they don't mm-hmm. know how much this this career path affects family as well. Definitely. Like, uh, funny shit aside, mm-hmm. I haven't <clears throat> necessarily spoken to him. necessarily spoken to my daddy in probably like two years, probably like two years now. I think it's another aspect. It's to another level, the industry. another layer. To yeah, it's the another industry. layer because people that a don't lot really of people understand. Don't speak on. Yes, they don't understand or speak on the fact that this affects everyone around you. It changes yes. the relationships of everyone around you because a lot of times I feel guilty, and I'm like, damn, my sister got to deal with all this bullshit. It's not even her career choice. Mm-hmm. My mama got to deal with all this bullshit. It's a lot of cons, but it's a lot of pros. Yeah. At the end yeah. of the day, like. Yeah. And I think for me, like, because people, of course, always want to say, you wouldn't have this without your sister. It's like, it's inevitable. Mm-hmm. I'm going to always hear that because mm-hmm. this is your career. Mm-hmm. Like, you're famous. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like. And just as much as you get defensive over me, I get defensive over you. No, and for everybody sure, else for that sure. I love. Because I'd be like, who? I'm not passing around allowances around this bitch. Right. She getting this on her own. But when I you think... see her throwing a thousand in the club, baby, that's her money. <laughs> Please, that's beauty by Brooklyn. <laughs> yes, sir. Bitch. <laughs> but I think what you told me was important when you said accept her blessings. Mm-hmm. Because I was trying to, for the longest, mm-hmm. deny it. I'm yeah. like, I don't want your help. Don't help me. Don't help me. Don't help me. But you're like, Brooke, let me help you. Let me help you. Like, because don't make thing. your life harder. Don't make your life harder. But, you know, it's God hard gave sometimes. you your blessings. Who are you to block your own blessings? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be having to go back and forth with her, and I'm telling her, like, no, let me let me post your business and right. post the link and da da da. And she's like, I got it, I got it. Or I'm like, who's shooting your content? Whatever. Right. It's a twin thing with us. It is. It's a twin thing with us. It is. How you felt about them saying my my Coachella pictures was Photoshop? It's a whole video performance. It's Showing a recorded performance of the crowd. So, baby, it's clear that it's not no Photoshop situation. Bitch, be for real. Like, you can easily go to the live stream. Everybody yeah. was watching it live. What you mean? Watching it like, live. It was live streamed. What do you mean? They just be acting dumb. Like They love to act dumb. They, they love to act stupid. It's hard being God's favorite. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? No, you really are, though. You know what I love? What you love? You use your platform to bring up other women. Mm. Like Coachella, you had the girls on your radio show. You be having the girls. Mm-hmm. So I just the remixes. Know. Yeah, the Two. oh heavy on the remixes. The features. The features. Because yeah. you was a girl's girl. Like you, but even. Between us two, you really be loving the girls. Like, we be having conversations. Mm-hmm. So, what do you feel like inspired you to be so involved with mm-hmm. other other girls in the industry? You know what? I always say this. I feel like it really started from my foundation. Mm-hmm. I come from that's true a one-sibling household, mm-hmm. and that's a sister. Right. So, really, sisterhood is embedded in me. That's like, true. I look at women like my... 
like my sister. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how to explain it. I look at rap, female rap, like a sisterhood. Mm-hmm. Because I come from like a tight relationship with my sister, a tight relationship with my mama. Right. So it come from just literally being a fan and not being shady. Right. Or like not being what people expect women to be. Right. Not peop not being what people set the tone for women to be. And I think you know what you be having to go through and deal with. Yeah. So and you it's really like, wanna like Bring other women bring up. Bring other women up and really put them on game because I really wish someone would Had put me that under their wing for real. Had that hospitality and really showed me, like, you know what? This how it go, girl. Hit me whenever you go, or just going like through whatever you're going yeah. through. Yeah, friendly energy in this game because all the time it's like, this person versus this exactly. person. Who better? Da, da, right. da. But it really be like, we all go through the same shit for and so- only... Only we understand the shit that we go through. Yep. So it's a it's a it's really like a a sisterhood. I keep going back it to is. sisterhood because nobody else know what it feels like to be dealing with this bullshit trying to get a, a feature clear on the back end. We the only people that understand each other's struggles in this in this industry. So Definitely. I just be trying to do my little part and put the girls on however I can. Little that. old me, you know what I'm saying? Little old little me, I don't old know me. much, but I know a little something. So, like, when I'm doing Coachella and I have these platforms, like, 777 Radio on Apple motherfucking music, you know what I'm saying? I want to interview my girls, and I want to include my girls however which way I can. Right. The streets want to know. Me and Brooke being bitches still oh banned from Mount Zion. This the thing. They love to try us because we, oh. we just pretty girls, so we give, like, soft. They it definitely give cute. love to try it. It give, I won't swing they be like, you. you look like you wouldn't do nothing. You look like you ain't do nothing. Girl. Bitch, I'll be the whole Girl, up the fuck. Please. I'll be the first one, too. <laughs> <laughs> what is you talking about? You know what's so funny? Every time I get into some shit, it's only when you there. That's true. So, that means you the problem. I'm not you the, the problem. Listen, listen. I'm not the problem. It's just I'm I'm ready. It's just you ready and you not going for no bullshit. I'm not going. And it's like, yes, mm-hmm. I'm quiet. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm to myself. I'm going to uh-huh. be friendly. I'm going to be nice. But, baby, don't go there with me because it's up. So, who was you being up at Mount Zion? Oh, so we going to our little Mount Zion story. And why you been this from was, Mount Zion? This was high school vibes. To this day. To this day. This was a little uh, high school vibes. Yeah. But I played volleyball for people that don't know. I've been in sports my whole life. So, yeah, we had the little volleyball game vibing. We won. Let I'm pretty sure we won. On. I'm pretty sure we won. The girlies was mad. They was mad because we was whooping that. We was whooping that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we was chatting back and forth the whole night. Some little girl, some little girl wanted to stay after the game, found herself waiting on us at the door. We walk outside, and the girl and her mama right there. And the mama, I hope y'all got y'all popcorn. The mama and the daughter was waiting outside, and the mama was talking crazy. So I said, oh, no, 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 yeah. you, you're not about to talk to my mama like that. So, you know, we got into a little tussle. I, I threw the first I threw the first punch and we got into a little tussle. So there is no uh cap in her rap. <laughs> These are true stories. Child, stories, stories on stories. That's yeah, just one of the It many. was crazy though, but it was crazy, but but dead ass, no cap in my rap. No cap in my rap. Like, yeah, that's the little story. Me and Brooke everybody being bitch that, still bad. Everybody from comments that on my Instagram and stuff. So they I'm sure they're gonna love that story. <laughs> You know, I got a little work done on my body, whatever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little too. They, mm-hmm. A lot of people don't even know that because you just look so good. Because a bitch look natural. Because you just look so good. Because this one thing about it, if you're going to do it, do it right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it right. I did it right. For a girl that who have little, little tweaky tweaks, yeah. I be on your case about yeah, not touching nothing. Which I think people wouldn't. Think. Like, I think people think be, just because somebody has surgery, they just encourage everybody else to get it. Like, uh-huh. you need to get this. You need, you mm-hmm. don't do that. You be no. telling me, don't touch your body. Don't I'm touch your face. You, I'm telling you, to all the young girls listening, all the women listening right now, I'm telling you from someone who's been there, done it. Find peace mm-hmm. within your natural state. Yeah, I definitely Because you're going to find a flaw. And another flaw, and another flaw, and another flaw. Surgery, 
any of that stuff is not a permanent fix. And I think a lot of people think that it is. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like, oh, if I just get this, I'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I know from from seeing everybody, that's not the case. Baby, we still editing pictures. Right. (laughs) We still uh, having debacles in the mirror. But how do you feel about people speaking on women with surgery? Like, making them feel like they can't speak about their bodies. Like, oh, I look good. Mm -hmm. And it's like... You know, if you say that, they're like, well, girl, you got to BBL. Or, yeah. girl, you got to da-da-da. I don't like that either, though. I don't like that I don't either. either. Like, I'm I'm, I'm a very much advocate for women in general. Right. Surgery, natural, whatever. For like, sure. However you want to play it, just make sure that's what you comfortable with. But I just think surgery is so popular now. Yeah. And I'd be lying if I said that it that me doing music didn't have an influence it's on hard. me. You know, like I'm I'm constantly in the limelight and I was yes. so young. Like Yeah, exactly. You gotta think I got my first big break at sixteen on a rap game. Mm-hmm. Then Bitch from the South, all that started heating up. I was 19. You're so, very impressionable at that age. Yeah, you know. Sure. And this coming from somebody who had who had all that stuff. I'm telling y'all, love yourself how you is first. first. If you want to tweaky tweak, go for it. But make sure it's for you. Make sure it's for you. Make sure it's for you. For that's, sure. that's the most thing I be yes. trying to, like, remind you mm-hmm. of. Don't be so uh, gullible for the social media traps and whatever. Because you're never going to be good enough for for the outsider's eye. That's true. When I didn't have my surgery, they're like, oh, she's so bad body. Then, oh, she shaped right. like a white side. What the fuck do that even mean? For real, what do that even mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then when I got the surgery, it's, oh, she's botched. Oh, it's too heavy. Right. It ages her. You can never, never win. You're never going to win. So just yeah. find peace within yourself. Whatever you want to do, right? do that. And and you're one of the people who I'd be like, I promise you without the the pressure on you, you would love yourself, your True. body, your natural state. True. Take that and own that. To all the women listening, just, just, yes. to, just to put that out there. Yes, ma'am. Just to put that out there. They say you dating. What's good? I'm single, She's but, single. you know... I be doing my little thing or whatever. <laughs> not really, though. Not for real. I don't really be doing my thing for real. But, you know, I be having me a little, little yeah, yeah. Your girl in love or whatever. Oh, she's so. in love. So, do you want to get married? Like, do you do you see yourself mm-hmm. getting married? I do. Me I too. do. I'm, I'm big into marriage and, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah, for sure. I, I want to do stuff, like, the traditional way. Me too. We, I'm a very, we be on the same accord. And it might, it might be because we come from a two-parent household. And they've like, been together forever. Forever. Being together forever don't mean it's perfect either. I'm, like, learning from my parents, learning right. from my own experiences, whatever. Like, I want to do stuff the traditional way, get married, have a baby. Yeah. You know, but, like, that, that for real, like, my biggest thing is loyalty. with, And that's really with anyone around me. Like, everyone around me, my... My dog, my day one dog is now my role manager. Mm-hmm. My day one dog is now my assistant. Right. So it's like my day one dog is my DJ. Like Facts. I love to surround myself with people I can trust. Mm-hmm. That's the number one thing to me. I don't even really care too much if you actually qualify for the right. job. I made my gang my employees because now I done made this environment that to where I could so be myself. Much. Yeah. That shit means In this the most. industry. Why you think I be begging you to come on the road with me? Like you really do teach me a lot and inspire me a lot. Like Aww. for real. Like you're a good Aww. role model. Like people don't know that you was a good role model for me. No, we finna cry at the sleepover. For real. I'm like, <laughs> you just my rock. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> but I for real, as a like a lot of people don't have good big sisters. Yeah. Like you really and a lot teach of people me. idolize our bond. Like because they be like, it's real. I wish I was close like it's that. It's not my for sister. fake. It's not for fake, baby. This is real life. Like it's real life. You're probably the most important figure in my life right now. Like I'm saying, like in my twenties, like ha- my sister, yeah, is teaching me everything. Yeah, let's talk about school. Okay, cause you gonna be the first person in our family for real to graduate from college. Being in school right now is hard. Mm-hmm. because I'm trying to, you know, do a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely difficult to just 
focus on school. Yeah. But I'm trying my hardest. So I, I want to encourage the people to stay in school. I encourage my girlies to stay in school because education is important. Education and I gotta, is important. And I got to remind myself of that. Like, I got to remind myself of that. I'm just, mm, just trying to get it over with at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But I think it's it's really lit to be, like, one of the first people in your family to graduate. You know what I love? I I just be feeling like it's a whole different bragging point for a woman. You always say that. I, I she be trying to that. encourage me, y'all. She's like... I be the main one, like, in her ear, like, keep going, keep yeah. going. I support whatever Why you do. Why do you feel like you didn't go, but you mm-hmm. want me to go so bad? I feel like... Because I, I want more for you. Mm-hmm. I feel like... You know, I did it without it. It's possible to do it without of course, it. Of course. Of course. A lot of people can show you, but a lot of people can attest to the fact that it helped them as well. Mm-hmm. By the time it went to college time, I'm like, girl, I done did two years of school. Oh, like, I right, really right, can't right. do this. And my career was just getting more lit, whatever. Right. Like, I really didn't have the time. In my head, I didn't have the time. But seeing people like Sweetie and mm-hmm. Megan apply themselves for real, because... Who am I to say I didn't have the time back then and they got the time now? Everybody path different. Everybody I don't path know, is yeah. different. But do you Everybody do you regret it or you don't you feel like no? I wouldn't say I necessarily regret it. I do wish I would have applied myself more though. Okay. Cause I could have. Mm-hmm. I could have. Yeah. And well, I'm 24 now, so I would have a whole degree at this point. And plus, I don't want to rap forever. We can go ahead and say that right now. Oh, I don't want to yeah. rap forever. She she be quick to say that. I'm quick to what say it, that. What else do you see yourself doing? <clears throat> Baby, I was just acting. Oh, yeah. I was and on she set for 12 y'all. hours. Literally. So I was just acting. Now I'm hosting a 777 radio app for Mersey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to rap forever. Like, literally, one of, yeah. my, one of my biggest inspirations as far as business mm-hmm. goes is Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. young black girl getting to the bag. I do music right. in my free time. I do it when I want to. Because right. people don't understand, it's just so much stress and it's, it's a, a lot whole of pressure. Nother, it's a whole lot of pressure. It's a whole nother. Compared to having something stable. Level, exactly. Having something stable to where I can just make money in my sleep. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. My passion is with music forever, obviously. But I feel like this is just a a, a door for me to open up more doors. What do you have to say about like the come up, like seeing and witnessing the the mm. the shit firsthand, and really seeing like the behind the scenes when I'm crying to you, like bro, I really oh like I, I quit. I don't want to do this no more. Like I just want to be a wife and a mom. <laughs> it's very stressful, like for me because I'm we're so close. Mm-hmm. I just get so much anxiety. I'm yeah. like, is she good? Is she yeah. straight? Like, and I'm such a strong person that's yes. like, I barely ever come for help. For sure. I think you're getting better about it. Yeah. But I, we even had to talk about this. Like, I think sometimes I'm like, oh, she's straight. Like, she good. Mm-hmm. She not even tripping. But then... I'll go upstairs and your energy be low and I'm just like, damn, like this certain stuff really is getting to her. Yeah. Or like, you know, she's stressed. I think you'd be stressed a lot. Yeah. And that'd be the hardest part. Because people don't even be knowing like all the shit that we deal with. Like, I'm the Everything. most active I've ever been in my career probably right now. Right. Like busy wise. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I'm dealing with so much stuff. Like people would think like, oh, it's glitz and glamour or whatever. You don't know all the 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 pieces to this it's puzzle. It's so many. That's I think and what how I much see. weight be on a bitch shoulders. Yeah, it's a lot. Like you see me getting on stage, having the time of my life. But when I get off that stage, baby, it's a million things going through my mind. Like that shit that gotta get done, shit that gotta get handled. Like my phone is constantly going off. And I think as a sister, of course, like you don't want to see your sister stressed out like that. Yeah. So I think that's the hard part for me is just. I feel the need to, like, be there for you 100%. And, of course, I'm always going to be there. You but is. it's, like, it just be hard because I be, like, really wanting to help mm-hmm. and really get involved and be with you a lot. You know what's so, what's so like, oh, what? when you was, like, you was, like, you feel like um you want to be there when I ask you to come, like, type shit. Yeah. You was, like, you want to be there. Because you feel like nobody else going to really oh, be there for me. I like definitely you. feel like that. Mm-hmm. Nigga, at the end of the day, 
Nobody got my sister like I do. Oh, God. That's just period. So, I do feel the need to be there because I be I got to make sure people doing doing you right. Yeah. I got to make sure, like, people think I just be there vibing. Like, I do. <laughs> I be <Yeah>. chilling. <laughs> I do. I be chilling. <laughs> but it's like at the same time, I be in people's ass too. Mm-hmm. I be like, what's up? What you, what you got going on? Because... I got to protect my sister. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like everybody around us is straight. But I'm just saying, like, I have a sisterly energy. And I'm like, listen, y'all not about to play with her. Everybody but they had their shit together. Yeah. Period. So, yeah, I do feel the need to be there a lot. And I think that that's the struggle for me is, like, trying to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. But still being there for my sister. Mm-hmm. Because you need me. I need you. You need me. Right. Like, we need we each other. We are family. Come on, let's cheers with a, a, a gummy a gummy worm. Gummy worm cheers. What's your favorite gummy worm? This one. Red and blue. Twins. Please, my twin. My twin.